Okay guys, before we jump into today's video, we are here at Mark Peterson's place and we are announcing the giveaway winner for the New Mexico archery elk hunt that we partnered with WTA and Matthew. So we're actually gonna cold call this person right now and uh, hopefully they pick up and hopefully they're excited because I'm excited. So let's dive in. Hey, is this Lane? This is. Lane, how you doing today? Good, how are you? Good. This is Mark Peterson from WTA, and I got a guy standing next to me called Chris B. Hey, oh, Lane. Shoot. How's it going? Good. How's it going, man? Good. Well, we are calling to let you know that you are the winner. No way. Yep. Holy cow. We're super stoked. We got a bow here for you. And, Holy um, cow. This place in New Mexico seems wild. I've, I've, I've known someone that has been there, and obviously these guys know the program, and it's yeah. going to be it's going to be pretty sweet. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Yep. Yeah. Have a good one. We'll see All you right, y'all have a good one. Take care. All right, everyone. Welcome back to another video. We are doing budget bow versus flagship bow challenge here at some old stomping grounds. You guys have probably seen this stomping grounds in past videos so we're, we're doing a little flashback but we have a mission hammer which is very much a budget bow but we have a better sight system on it because i actually set this bow up to shoot some very long distances for total archer challenge and i wanted just a good sight tape on it but we do have a whisker biscuit this is the bow i go bow fishing with and it is the bow that we built a, let's see two years ago when we actually did the budget bow build and it is going to be versing my flagship Matthews Phase 4, which is a premium high end of the line accessories, the whole kit and caboodle. You can't get any better than this. So here we go. We are doing 66 yards. Why 66? Because that's where I'm standing. At a 80 centimeter target down there, we're going to be shooting at the same target just to kind of compare groups side by side. And we're going to be doing a world archery round, which is world archery match which is 150 points 15 arrows per bow and uh we'll just see we'll just see how good we can do a good score out of a good shooter is like 145 points or higher so we're going to try to see how close we can get to this we're going to do one practice round and then we're going to get right into it okay so we are going to do my phase four first and i'm going to do three arrows we get one one end of practice That was a little low. So we're going to make just a little adjustments. One thing about this bow, it's 76 pounds, so a little bit more poundage than the Mission. It has a way nicer back wall, and it's just more efficient. It's a faster bow overall. It's going to be low also. We are shooting um, about the same arrows. This is a Victory. Uh, 1,000 straightness, those are 6,000 straightness. So a little lower quality, or a little lower straightness, but in all honesty, they do just about the same. That was an X. So we're sighted in with our phase four. Next, we got our mission, and we do have a four fledge going on here. Why? Because that's what I had laying around. So. We are 66 yards. See how this bad boy does? Very different feel, so it's gonna be very interesting just going back and forth between the two. It is just like a toy shooting it. Oh! That was almost a 10 though. That's the thing practicing with this, is it's like, feels like a toy, but it still shoots pretty dang good. Man, aiming that thing is hard because it's really light compared to my other one. Ooh, that was some arrow slapping down there. Um, first end is done. This is about sighted in. I kind of surrounded it. But we'll just kind of see how we progress. So let's go pull. Okay, so we might have to bump the budget bow just a little bit or a little low but this is my last one out of phase four so that one's good very confident in my sight marks there and kind of as we shoot we can just kind of adjust too but that was our first round of scoring or of practice and our only round one and only round of practice now it goes straight in the score we're gonna do five ends 
total score of 150 points. Herbo and the winner will trade pink slips. That's not even a thing. It's not even a thing. Because it's one v one. Because it's me yeah, versus me. It's just me versus me. Isn't that a song? Uh, it's not a money bag, it's yo. A money so. Bag song. <laughs> I love that song. So normally what we do too in these challenges is we go every other. So if we end the round on the budget bow, we then start the round on the budget bow. I don't know why. We've always kind of done it that way, so we're just going to continue. Hopefully, I don't miss. Way right. Oh, low rate seven. Nice. So the whole reason why we're really doing this is one, because it's just kind of fun, and two, to show the comparison that yes, you can still shoot just fine and good with a budget bow, like this mission hammer, but there are still nice things and why it's harder to get a better flagship bow. Like there's a lot of pluses that get you to like the shot I just made. I don't really know why I went low seven. It felt good, it went good, and a flagship bow is definitely way more forgiving. It's a very long list of things, but we'll kind of just touch that as we go through. But I also just want to prove that you don't need to spend a lot of money just to get an archer and shoot good. That felt good. That was a 10. Yeah, that was a 10. Felt good, I don't know why. The other one didn't go in there. That looked good too. We legit might have two 10s and a seven. Now we're gonna go to the phase four. Biggest thing with these two bows, when, it, when you're shooting them, is the back wall. Hammer's like really squishy. You can kind of make whatever draw length you want, like within a half inch or so. Phase four, you just slam into the back wall and you get what you get. And it's windy right now. Okay, that was a 10. Long hold. That was definitely not a 10. That might have not been a 10 either. Wow. I kind of had two bad dip bangs there. That was not great. I'll go down, check them out. I think we got some close liners. Okay, well, here we are. Budget bow, 10, 10, 7. Phase four, 10, 9, 8. Because I had two bad shots, and I knew they were bad shots, and I knew they were going down there. So we're tied up, 27, 27. Who would have thunk? Round number two. Okay, so now we are doing phase four first, since we finished with it last. I think it kind of gives you the most advantage because Going back and forth, these bows are completely different. It really, you, got, you shoot them a little bit different too. So we got three arrows underneath our belt. We're not gonna make three dumb shots. The pin's gonna be in the middle, and the bow's gonna go off. It's like that, and it's left. Oh, that was almost a dead. Man, I'm making those low left shots. It's in the same spot. What we're not taking into the fact is that there's a lot of human error into these challenges. Should be good. Yeah, okay, our last one was a good shot. That was a 10. <laughs> that might have been a 10. Oh, man, I'm straight pounding with this bow. I am not kidding, that was another 10. This bow is dialed, I'm not even kidding. Okay, I think that was low. Good group though, you notice how the wind just stopped perfectly for this bow? Round number two, let's go score them. We have, for the phase four, we have 10, nine, eight. Same score as last time. And slightly better, we have the budget bow, 10, 10, eight. So we are now, the mission is leading. Round number three, starting off with a budget bow. I am surprised how well I'm shooting with this bow. I've been shooting it, just practicing for a while now, and the thing actually shoots pretty good. Ten, I think. 
if it if the pin is in the middle and it goes off, it's going in the middle. Unless I am not on the back wall good, then it goes all over the place, which is very easy to do. Like that time. Seven. Man, okay. Hanging low on that time. The wind picked up a little bit, but um, I guess that's kind of part of this challenge too, is just the elements. It's a very slower bow. So it's just not cutting through the wind as much, experiencing a little more drag, because I broke pretty good. That is bent. This must be one of the bent ones. I had a uh, shot into the red stag's neck and hit a bunch of rebar. Can't even get that out. Okay, well that's good to know. I have another one. Well, that could have been why that one was flying. It, I had those two low right eights twice in a row or whatever. Fun. That was a 10. That was three shots, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Well, we both kind of have solid groups. I don't know why that time we just kind of were hanging low and to the right with the budget bow. I think just because of the wind a little bit. Um, and then we were pretty solid with the, with the phase four. So we got judge call. Call that one early. I'm going, I'm going tenor. Ten? It's broken is why I think so also, because it looks like it on the top but not on the bottom. Yeah. Okay, so we got. 29 out of the phase four. That's more of a phase four score. 24. That definitely was a pretty big hit. That's going to be hard to financially recover from. And number four. We just got stung by bees. I got stung on the chin. That's going to start swelling. You got me in the side. It's already swelling. Wow, now I'm nervous. We got to be careful when we go down there and make sure there's not a nest or something. Is my chin, I feel it starting to swell up. Yeah, I can see it a little bit. This is going to be funny by the end of the video. This is going to be swollen. What we do for videos for you guys. Phase four. End four. A little left. I was hanging a little left last time, too. Is my face swollen up yet? No, no. Dude, it's like throbbing. Yeah, my side hurts. That was a hornet. That was it literally, it stung Riley, flew to me, stung me in the face. Whoa. Just surrounded it. There we go. Dude, that was either a hornet or like a queen bee. Because it was big. It was like, it was bigger than like a yellow jacket. Pretty solid. Low. I'm like hitting low now. There we go. That was in the pocket. That was in the pocket too. That was a good shot. <clears throat> okay. Let's go down there and score. We just have one end after this. So this is a big decision. We have a phase four, 10, 9, 9. We're totally getting pretty happy with that. And then we got freaking dialed after this. I don't, again, you get weird things out of this bow. Like I'll be shooting good and then just random low seven. Or a 27. Something bad is gonna have to happen with the phase four for the, the mission to catch up, but it is possible. And number five for the final end. Starting out with the budget bow. That looked good. I wiggled out of that yellow and it went off. But the pin was about right where it landed, so I can't really blame me. Or I can blame me. I can only blame me. I can't blame the equipment. Yeah, not bad. Good performance out of this boat. You gotta think about we have hit inside of a pie plate about every single arrow. Probably every single arrow. Um, at 66 yards. I mean like shooting this far is not easy and i guess technically i've kind of forgot about this the world archery round is supposed to be shot at 50 meters which is 55 yards so we're shooting even further than we're supposed to 10 yards further Ooh. 
Ooh, that was not a good shot. That drifted away from me. Ooh, that was a quick shot. That one in the same spot. Those weren't two, two good shots at all. But we're gonna go down there. We're gonna see and then we'll do a general consensus. The final round. Not bad, I got a good group again with my phase four. Just a little high right. We got 10, nine, nine. Now the budget, we have 10, eight, eight. Good group though. I mean, what's most important is the group. Like it's not that bad of a group. So I'm very happy with that. Phase four, we have a 28 mission with a 26. We have a 139, 18, so that is a 32, 132. So, honestly, not that bad. Not, not that far apart either, 139 and 132. The budget bow versus the flagship bow. Pros and cons. Flagship bow overall is more efficient. It is better at forgiveness. So like if you make a semi bad shot, it's not gonna be as bad as an emission. And it is more tailored to your specific range of draw length and poundage. So it's not as adjustable as the mission is like a 10 year old kid and a grown adult can shoot the same bow. So for the fact of that, that's super nice. But like we've clearly proven, still not that bad. I mean, a couple points difference, a little bit bigger groups, um, but you can still get an archery and do awesome things and shoot good scores without spending a ton, a ton of money. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had some fun minus my little bee sting and Riley's bee sting. That was just some extra flair in the video. We'll catch you guys next time.